Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And here I am with game two of the 1961 Phillies taking on the 1986 Mets. As you'll recall, the Phillies lost game one of this series by the score of six to two. And they are back trying their hand again. Now there is going to be a lineup change for the Phillies. As you'll recall, last game, uh, Charlie Smith, the third baseman for the Phillies, was injured. I did replace him with uh, Bobby Del Greco. However, I have since received word that Bobby Del Greco was not really much of a third baseman and didn't play very much at third base in his career. So we will have a different guy go in to play third base, and that will be Lee Walls. He will be the third baseman for the Phillies this game for the injured Charlie Smith. Also, in a strange little turn of events, the Mets are not going to pitch Gooden um, in this game, even though given the round robin nature of the tournament, he could pitch right now. They're going against a very bad team in the uh, 61 Phillies, so they've decided to push Gooden at the very least one more day, and so they are going to go with Rick Anderson starting uh, today for the Mets. In 1986, Rick Anderson was 2-1 and one with a 272 earned run average, but he only pitched 50 innings and allowed, uh, allowing 45 hits in those 50 innings. He was a starter reliever, probably more a reliever than anything else. However, he will be the, today's starter and give Gooden an extra day pushback, um, hoping that maybe they don't even need Gooden um, and uh, uh, Gooden and Darling in this series. If they can win today, they're up two games to nothing. Only need one more game, and then they could pitch somebody perhaps like Aguilera in the third game. He came in relief in the first game, but he only pitched one inning. So let's get underway with this one. We've got Tony Gonzalez up against, um, up against Rick Anderson. And that's 2-8, which is a ground ball to first base, one away. Johnny Callison's up. He gets a 2-9, which is a strikeout. Rick Anderson getting the K. And that brings up Wes Covington. And he gets a 6-4, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman for the Phillies. Um, the new third baseman is Lee Walls, and he is a four. That's going to be something. That's a roll of four, or a roll of three. Three and four, that's a single, obviously. So, um, oh, wait a minute. No, that, uh, the wrong third baseman. Uh, it's The third baseman's a three, but uh, that's Ray Knight. But that's still probably going to be a hit, because it was a roll of a three. So I think it's still a hit, and it is. So, um, so Wes Covington gets a board. Base hit allowed by Anderson. And that brings up John or Don Demeter. And he gets a 1-7, which is a single 1-2. to two. And it is not. It's a line out to third base, so Demeter's out. And the Phillies get no runs in the first inning. Up come the Mets. And they will be batting against. Today's uh, Philadelphia pitcher is Art Mahaffey. And he was 11 and 19 in 1961 with a 410 earned run average in 32 starts. He pitched 219 innings and gave up 205 hits. Mookie steps in against him and gets a fly ball to right. What a way. That brings up Lenny D, Lenny Dykstra, and he gets a triple one to ten, or a single. But that's going to be a triple, and Lenny D is 90 feet away. And Mahaffey giving up the big hit. They are, they're going to bring the infield in. They will, I hate doing it, but they will do it. 4-7 on Mahaffey's card is a walk. Now to Hernandez, that was Keith Hernandez. So, with Keith Hernandez walking and setting up a possible double play, they're going to play back. I wasn't going to intentionally walk 
Hernandez, but Mahaffey did that for me. Daryl Strawberry up. He gets a 2-8, which is a strikeout. And there's now two down. And Gary Carter up, and he gets a 110, which is a home run. Three run home run for Gary Carter. That's his first one of the series. And Mahaffey did not need that, for sure. Wally Backman up, he gets a 1 4, and that's a pop out to first. But the Mets strike for three big ones right there in the first. And that already puts the Phillies in a terrible position. Lee Walls up. The replacement third baseman gets a pop out to short. Oh. Pancho Herrera gets a one or gets a three eight, which is a home run one to fourteen or a double. And that is going to be a double. One man on at second, one down, Ruben Amaro up. He gets a 4-8, which is a single one to 13. And that is going to be a single. So now the Phillies got runners at the corners. They got something going here. Runners at the corners with only one out. Third hit allowed for Rick Anderson. Tony Taylor up. He gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a pop out to first, two away. And Clay Dalrymple is up, and he gets the 3-3, three, three, which is a ground ball to third, and he is out. So the Phillies, despite a little bit of a uh, little bit of a threat there, they come away with nothing. And they really couldn't afford to come away with nothing there. That brings up Ray Knight to lead off in the bottom of the third for the Mets. He gets a 1-8, which is a single. Kevin Mitchell gets a 2-4, which is a ground ball short, double play. So there's two down. And nobody on for the Mets. Rafael Santana gets a 6-7, which is a ground ball to second baseman. The second baseman is Tony Taylor, and he is a 3. And that is a 12. I'm going to guess that's an out. And it is. And so the Mets are retired. In the second, we go to the top of the third. Gonzalez is up. He gets a, a 210, which is a fly ball to the right fielder. One away. Johnny Callison gets a 4 3. That is a fly ball to the left fielder. The left fielder is a 2. That's Mookie Wilson. And that's going to be an out, two away. And Wes Covington is up, and he gets the 310, which is a walk. So let me record those last two guys. Covington with a walk. First walk issued today for Rick Anderson. And Don Demeter is up, and he gets the 3 5, which is a double one to two or a single double asterisk. And that's going to be a double. And it's only a two asterisk double, so they have to stop at third. No chance to even send them. Demeter with the hit. And now Rick Anderson again is in a little bit of trouble. And Lee Walls up. And he gets a 2 6, which is a triple 1 to 9, or a single level asterisk. And that is going to be a single that knocks in both runs. So now we have ourselves a game. The replacement third baseman, Lee Walls, coming through big with a hit off Rick Anderson. And makes the score 3-2 with Pancho Herrera up, and he gets a 4-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is um, Backman, and he's a 3. And that's a 17 and a 3. 
17 at three at second is an out is a roll of roll 20 cider again that's what it is and that's a four and a three and that's still an out so Herrera's out but the Phillies do get two and they make the score three two which is actually not too bad they pulled themselves back to within a possible you know catching the Mets and Mookie Wilson comes up he gets a 6-8 which is a pop out to short one away Lenny D gets a 3-8 which is a strikeout Mahaffey with a strikeout second one of the game and Keith Hernandez gets a 5-3 which is a ground ball back to the pitcher he is a three defensively at the 20 Probably a roll again. No, it isn't. It's an out. So Hernandez makes the out, and the Mets get nothing. Right there, they still maintain their slim three to two lead as we go to the top of the fourth inning. And up steps Ruben Amaro, and he gets a one three, which is a ground ball to short, and he's out. Tony Taylor. Gets a 4-2, which is a fly ball right, and he's out. And Clay Dalrymple gets a 6-12, which is a fly ball to right field, and he is out. Bottom of the fourth inning. Mets leading 3-2 still. Daryl Strawberry gets a walk. A rare walk for Daryl. Daryl. Mahaffey walking a man. Gary Carter up. He gets a 4 8, which is a strikeout. One away. Wally B. Wally Backman is up. 5 7. That's a strikeout. Two away. Ray Knight gets a 4-8, which is a strikeout. He strikes out the side after allowing someone aboard. And no runs again. Come in for the Mets. We go to the top of the fifth. The Phillies trailing only 3-2 here so far. Tony Gonzalez up 3-7 single. So we got Tony Gonzalez aboard with a hit. He's a stealing B. He's going to try to steal second. And that's an 18. He's gone. They had to try it, though. Johnny Callison gets a 4-9. That is a strikeout. Two away. I mean, this Phillies team is not going to score runs by just sitting on the base pads and waiting for somebody to come back with a, with a big hit. 5-6 is a fly ball to right, and Covington is out. We go to the bottom of the fifth. The Phillies still down by a run. The Mets still cling to a 3-2 lead. Kevin Mitchell up. 2-11 is a ground ball short. He's out. One away. Rafael Santana gets a 1-7, which is a pop out. That's two out. And the Mookie Wilson man gets a home run one to ten. And that's a double. So Mookie Wilson rips a, a two out double. Which gives the uh, Mets a little bit of life here. Hoping for another run to try to pad that lead. Len Dykstra is up and he gets a 6-9 which is a strikeout. So they don't pad the lead. Mahaffey instead gets his sixth strikeout. We go to the top of the sixth in a very good 3-2 to two game where the Mets are ahead by just a run. And the difference being a Gary Carter three-run homer. Don Demeter is up. He gets a 6-3, three, 
which is a ground ball C. So he to first base and he's out. Lee Walls. Lee Walls gets a home run one to two or a fly ball. But it is a home run. And Lee Walls, the replacement third baseman, ties the game. He's two for three today with a home run and three RBIs. And Rick Anderson is ruining the day that that injury happened to Charlie Smith. Pancho Herrera comes up. He gets a 4-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. He's a 3. That is a 16. That might be something. No, uh, it's a roll again is what it is. 14. That might be something. It is a one base error. So Herrera gets on with an error. And that was an error by Wally B. Wally Backman. One out, one runner on. Ruben Amaro up. 6 8 is a pop out to second, two away. And Tony Taylor is up. He gets the 3 8, which is a strikeout. But guess what? The Phillies tied the game. In the top of the sixth, we go to the bottom of the sixth in a three-all tie. Keith Hernandez is up. 6-11 is a fly ball to the right fielder. The right fielder for them is a two. That's Demeter. And that is a 15, so unfortunately that's going to be something bad for the Phillies. Single and air batter on second. So Keith Hernandez gets a hit, and on top of that, Demeter makes an error that moves him to second. No outs. Daryl Strawberry up, and he gets a one, what is that, nine, which is a strikeout. One away. Seven strikeout for Mahaffey. He's doing his best. Gary Carter gets a three, nine, which is a triple one or a single double asterisk, and that'll knock in the run that gives the Mets the lead and Gary Carter does it again comes through big for him Wally Backman gets a 410 which is a fly ball center field two away and Ray Knight's up and he gets a 412 which is a fly ball to center So the Mets, though, they score a, another run, the fourth run for them, and they go ahead 4-3. We go to the top of the seventh in this game. Clay Dalrymple gets a 6-4, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. The third baseman is Ray Knight. He is a 3. That is a 5. That's going to be an out. Dalrymple goes down. Tony Gonzalez is up. He gets a 3-11, which is a ground ball first base, and he is out. And Johnny Callison's up, and he gets a 6-8, which is a pop-out to second base. So Callison's down. And no runs come in for the Phillies in the seventh. Time is running out for them, but they're only down by a run at the moment. Kevin Mitchell's up. He gets a 3-9, which is a strikeout. One away. Rafael Santana gets a 3-5, which is a single. And if you remember, the last series we played, I think Santana actually hit quite well in that series. Mookie Wilson's up. 5-6 is a... Triple one to seven. That's going to be devastating right there. Potentially, and it is. Mookie Wilson gets the triple, knocks in the run. Now they have a little bit of a breathing room. And Mookie Wilson's only 90 feet away. 
infield will come in. Dykstra's up 4 3. That is a ground ball C. Two away. Dykstra. And that ground ball C was to the first baseman. And let's see what happened on that. Maybe they got the guy at the plate. Let's see. Infield in, ground ball C, the batter is out. Runner on third holds. Okay. So there is still a runner at third. And Keith Redad is up with two down. And that's a 4 2, which is a fly ball right field B. Hernandez is out. But the Mets have taken now a two run lead. We go to the top of the eighth with the score 5 3 Mets. Covington is up for the Phillies. He gets a fly ball to right. One away. Don Demeter gets a 5-7, which is a single. Demeter with a hit. And you got to wonder why the Mets are still sticking with Anderson this late into the game, but he, has, he hasn't pitched poorly. Lee Walls comes up, except against this guy. But he strikes out Lee Walls, so there's two down. And Pancho Herrera comes up. He gets a 5-7, which is a single. And the Mets going to get action up in their pen and that action is going to be Roger McDowell the hot foot man the former pitching coach for the Atlanta Braves and was that Ruben Amaro I don't know 6-8 is a pop out to second base so Ruben Amaro is out we'll say it's Amaro they get no runs in the eighth inning and we go to the bottom of the eighth. The Mets leading by two. And looking to take a two-game lead, a commanding two games to nothing lead in the series. Daryl Strawberry up, and he gets a 1-6, which is a home run 1-6. to six. And that is instead a double. So Daryl Strawberry is on second with a double. They really cannot allow Daryl, they can't afford to allow Daryl Strawberry to score. Mahaffey's still out there because what other options really have they got? 4-6 is a fly ball right. Carter is out. Wally Backman's up. He gets a 6-5, which is a strikeout. Eight strikeout for Mahaffey. He hasn't pitched really that terrible considering this Mets offense, and Ray Knight is up. He gets a 5-5. Well, right there he has. Home run 1-18. to And that is a two-run home run for Ray Knight. And that's pretty much going to be the nail in the coffin for this one. As the Mets score their seventh run. And Mitchell comes up and he gets a 5-5, which is again a home run 1-18. to And it again is another home run for Mitchell. And if the other home run wasn't the death knell, this one definitely is. They're not even going to bother to bring in relief. The game is nearly over. And Rafael Santana comes up and he gets a 4-6, which is a fly ball. Santana is finally out and ends the misery, I believe. Um, and even if he doesn't, I'm going to end it anyway. So, 3-4-5... They get three more runs right there, and now the Mets have an 8-3 lead. And they will bring in for the ninth inning. Anderson only goes eight. He gives up nine hits, strikes out four, walks one, and gives up a homer and three RBIs. And that brings up Roger McDowell on the mound for the Mets. Famous for giving people out in the bullpen hot foots, hot feet, whatever.
whatever you want to call it. And up steps the Phillies. Tony Taylor's up. 5'11 is a ground ball to the first baseman. That is Hernandez, and he's a 1. And that is going to probably be a roll again, I would think. Uh, yep. Yeah. And that's a 5. I would think that's an out, and it is. So, Tony Taylor is out. Clay Dalrymple's up. He gets a 1-8, which is a line out to second. And Tony Gonzalez is up. 4-8 is a single. So, the Phillies are not quite ready to go down, but you really have to question whether they're going to be able to get uh, five, what is it, five runs they need? Eight to three, yeah. Johnny Callison's up. He gets a 4-6, which is a pop-out to shortstop and finally ends the game. And the Phillies go down by the score in the second game by the score of 8-3. to three. And they are now down two games to nothing in this series. Probably very insurmountable. And you might be able to count on seeing Aguilera potentially in the deciding game for the Mets so that they can carry the Doctor and uh, Darling over to the next series where they will probably need him much more. Need them much more. So that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.